So we're here at the Bushman class. It's like the capstone class here at the Appalachian Bushman School. And um, unfortunately, during the class, the rainstorm started coming. It went from cold to a little bit of ice to cold and windy to now rain. So that made us think right away, well, we need to fly a tarp. Now, anybody that ever flew a tarp knows that one of the biggest problems, especially if you want a fire pit underneath like we have, is that when you set your ridge line up, you can only reach so high, right? And then all of a sudden, that peak to the tie outs, those tie outs become really low. We're either crouching down or we think we're gonna burn up our tarp. So today, we're gonna show you a very simple way that we can get that center ridge line that much higher, like this one, super high. Where's it at? Oh. And I'm a big giant, I can't even reach that thing. So I can only reach about this high up on the tree and our tie out ridge line is up near the top of this stick. Hard to see on camera, that's why I'm pointing. And on the other side, it is even higher. So there's just no way that we can reach up there unless we have somebody balance on my shoulders and then that just becomes a big issue. So we said, hell with it, why don't we just build a ladder? That's what we're gonna show you today. Now bushcraft ladders are nothing new. Feel expedient ladders are nothing new, but the problem is that a lot of people just can't put them into context, and this is perfect context for them. We have our two sides of the ladder, okay? These can be either thick green wood, or they can be, of course, dry wood that's not rotted, like seasoned wood that's really gonna hold up well. So just be careful when you're doing this. You don't want it to break while you're up on the ladder. Now to begin this process, I just mark the center point of our webbing right here so I know that we have equal lengths on each side. I'm then gonna go to the top portion of each of our ladder sides and I'm going to decide how wide I want my ladder. And this is somewhat important because if you make this way too big, now you gotta get big rungs. And if you get it too narrow, what's gonna happen is that the rungs just aren't gonna be big enough to climb. So, so give yourself a good rung width. Now, as we talked about in a recent video, we're gonna take our line and we're gonna make that clove hitch. So we're gonna make our two loops, second loop behind the first loop and slide it over the top. I'm gonna to come down about three inches. Now we're gonna come, of course, you can see my ladder width that I have right here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna make another clove hitch. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna make loop one, loop two, and I'm gonna slide this over the top the same as the other side. I wanna to try to bring this down as even as possible, pull that tight, and now check. I'm a little bit off center, but I know I have more than enough line going down each side that we're good. Now at this point, you're gonna work each line down the side of the ladder. You're gonna to wanna to decide how far you want each rung spaced out. Initially, we just put three rungs in this. We'll put a couple extra in, just so the guys have something extra to climb here in a demo for the video. Here's what is important now when we're going to tie these hitches on the way down. I determine the length of my first rung, and that's gonna be somewhere in this area right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a 90 degree angle into the middle of the ladder. So it's gonna look like that. We're gonna bring our line around like this. We're gonna take that tag end now and we're gonna go in that 90 degree bend. So I have that 90 degree bend. I go in that and then I want to hold that in place the best I can, creating this right here. This is where our rung is ultimately going to lay. So I'm gonna continue this process down the ladder making these hitches. Now at the very bottom of this rung, just for an extra bit of safety, I'm gonna put another clove hitch in here and um, pull that tight. That's gonna allow that not to go anywhere once it's all in place. Now at this point, we're gonna take our rungs, make sure they're heavy duty enough that they can hold some weight. We're gonna place them inside our ladder frame here and then push them down against that hitch. That hitch is gonna tighten up as we stand on that, so we're gonna be all good. At this point now, we would have a ladder that any self-respecting man would be happy of. 
So legit guys, now we can just lay this up against this tree and that's going to give us a way to get up higher in order to hang up our stuff. Thumbs up, I don't know if you can see me. And that's it, thumbs up, bushcraft ladder. You can see I'm 220 pounds, it's holding me up just fine. Of course, you can use bigger, heavier lumber if you would want to, but it gives us a viable option to get up a little bit higher for ridge lines and different tasks that we can't normally reach. We don't have to make a stick or any kind of toggle on a rope. We can just do this really easily in the field, plus it is a fun project. And that's it, that is our bushcraft build ladder. That's used in context of when you would actually be able to apply a situation like building a ladder to a camp scenario. It put up a really nice high ridge line to fly our tarp over. Now we can have a campfire under it. Everybody is very comfortable under it and our tie out points aren't too low. So we can literally just walk in and out and we are good to go. So keep this in your toolbox. Another thing that you can do when you're out in the field to have a good time or for utilization to make camp life that much better. This was Dan Wall with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Until next video, stay in the woods. Now everybody's gonna laugh at me because I did this at the Bushman class and they are all staring at me while I was shooting this video and I was tongue tied a bunch of times. All right, it's our bushcraft build ladder used in very, and that's it, that's our bushcraft build. And that's it, that is our bushcraft build.